Hello everyone, today we're checking out Serum. This is a survival adventure game where the world has been intoxicated by something mysterious. And without any further ado, let's jump into it. We're even getting a cutscene. Hello? Adam? Hi, sweetheart. I'm already at the airport. We'll leave any minute now. Did they at least tell you where you're going? You won't believe it. We're going to the corporate lab on Matamus. I'll call you when I'm there. Hug Chris for me. Bye. I'm worried about you. Everybody knows that a tester's work is dangerous. You shouldn't have taken this job. Come on, sweetheart. I'll be all right. Besides, we don't have much of a choice. This is the only way to earn some cash for Chris's treatment. Hi there, champ. Daddy, daddy. <coughs> I played soccer today. <coughs> I even scored. Fantastic. It's a shame I couldn't see it. <coughs> when are you coming back? Soon, son. Soon. I can't wait to see you again. I know, sweetheart. Me too. Fortunately, I'm leaving today, right after the surgery. Surgery? Something's wrong? No, everything's fine. They need to replace my timer. That's all. Don't worry. I'll be home tomorrow. And even a voice cutscene. A very tragic sounding cutscene if you see what the game's about. Oh man. I guess the surgery went wrong. Shit. I don't have much time. You don't have much time indeed, because I think it said something about a 45 minute timer. The serum. Like for the demo, not for whatever is going on in the actual game. Uh. Rip Steve. Yeah, take his ID, I guess. Alright, so we have to hold tab. Inject the serum? There we go. We can check the time by holding T. That is six more minutes. That is kind of yikes. But we're in some sort of test facility. He'll eat, survive, die. It works. Hello? Is there anybody out there? Hello, Richard. Who are you? Identify yourself. Adam Stewart. Serum tester ID 1XC027. Where's Steve? He's dead. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, oh man. Fuck. What happened? My, my arms! Something strange is happening to them. You are experiencing the first symptoms of the infection. What infection? I don't have time to explain. Look around. The central node building should be nearby. Can you see it? Yes, it's in front of me. This is a very slow panning. Or something that could potentially be very dangerous. Inside, you'll find a device with a yellow DNA symbol. It's an absorber. You'll need to connect it to your timer. This way, you'll cleanse your organism. But... Stop wasting your time. Do as I say. I think that's the thing he was talking about. Alright, interact with the absorber. Oh, uh, let's see. Absorber removes all negative and positive serum effects. That's ten minutes to the timer. Alright, so what should I do? First of all, take this serum regularly. It'll protect you from the blight. Where can I find it? You'll need to produce it yourself. How? Three aspects are its most important ingredients. You'll find them in everything that lives. Unfortunately, that's not all. You'll need plants or even animals as well. Steve had his formula. Find it, and gather the ingredients. Then use the device that should be right next to the absorber. 
It's a fabricator that converts organic matter into purified serum. <sighs> Shit. I need to hang up. Fabricator not available yet. Alright, so we need to find a blueprint or a recipe. I've been gathering a bunch of stuff that was just laying about, including the recipe for an axe, which I'm not 100% sure how to... Oh, there we go. C is craft. I also saw that... Or was it? This place. The drawing table. It looks like we can upgrade this base. So I guess this area will be important for later. We'll keep coming back to it. All right, this is where Steve's recipe is. Don't know if I like that drawing, but it is what it is. Blue armadillo, healing herb, and snake plant. So we got one of them. We picked up the herb plant earlier. Okay, we got a key card. Biome, zero cables. Key card to the cable car station. All right, good, good. Okay, these are the snake plants. They are the blue glowing ones. I already have some of the ingredients. What happened? Why did you hang up back then? Corporate security started to track us. I managed to jam their signal, but next time I may not be so lucky. We need to keep talking to a minimum. Sure, you're the boss. Questions? What is this place, Richard? Where am I? It's Ground Zero. An area contaminated with a mutagen. This is where all the cable car lines cross each other. The central node building will be your home for a while now. You better learn as much as you can about the layout and the equipment of the rooms. When you're ready, use the radio to call me. I'll tell you what to do next. All right. Serum brewing. A serum is more than just protection. It's also a weapon. There are several types of serum. You can make them in the fabricator in the node using organic ingredients and aspect that you obtain from plants and animals. Each serum has effects associated with it. These are more or less useful abilities. Without some, it may not be possible to explore an area. Effects are discovered, selected, and combined on the knowledge wheel during the serum creation process. Jesus Christ, there's so much text, man. We'll just figure it out over time. All right, Fabricator. So we can select a five minute timer here. Seems like if these question marks are all the things we can get from it, potentially, they don't seem that bad. So we can either create a completely new serum, or we can create the five minute serum, which I think I'll do right now, which I think we probably have to anyway. How much time do we have left? Three minutes. All right. I use the workbench to craft a axe. We need metal, and that's basically it. Where the hell do we find metal at? Aha, down there, I suppose? Oh, that's just a workbench. Yeah, okay, so we need to recycle in order to get metal. Well, recycle cans, specifically. But that is alright, so now we can craft the axe. Now we have to interact with the hyperpophonic station. Okay, and power up the generator, which was the one next to the crafting table where we literally were just at. Richard, I did what you told me. What now? You need to come to my lab in the canyon. It's the only safe place. How do I get there? In Ground Zero, you'll find gates to sectors known as biomes. The problem is, the entrance to the canyon is blocked. You'll have to use the cable car. Unfortunately, it needs to be activated first. Oh, can't be too easy, can it? What do I do? First of all, you'll need to find Steve's access card. It should be somewhere in the node. Next, power up the cable car. You'll find the generator in the station building. And then what? One thing at a time. Do what I said. Then I'll tell you what's next. I'd rather you... Hello? Richard? Ah, oh, prick. Wow, we need, now we need to power up. This is what I just interacted with. Richard, come in. I turned on the power. What do I do with the access card now? Find a card reader in the cable car cockpit and put the card inside it. Well, admit this feels very handholdy so far. I guess it's just a tutorial, so it does make sense, but... That didn't work. It will work when you start up the cable car stations in the forest and swamp biomes. It's like a system of interconnected vessels. That's how you'll power up the canyon gate. By the way, 
You'll obtain a means of transport between biomes. You already know how to activate stations. You'll need power and access cards that belong to the biome engineers. You'll have to find them. I'll be damned. That's all? No. The canyon gate is only opened with a special code. For security reasons, it has been divided into two parts and linked with biome engineers' DNA. Each engineer has only one part of the code. All parts need to be retrieved from their timers. So, whether I like it or not, I need to find these friggin' engineers. What's left of them, more probably? Biomes are contaminated with a mutagen. A couple of years ago, the serum essence was released into the environment due to an accident. Most employees died instantly. Some survived, only to change into mindless monsters shortly afterward. Since then, the biomes are sealed off. And I'm supposed to get in there? You are one of the few who have immunity. The mutagen won't kill you. It won't permanently alter your DNA structure either. And most, it will make your life a little bit more difficult. I'm not particularly fond of things that make my life more difficult. I'm beginning to regret saving your ungrateful ass. Do you want to survive? <sighs> yes. Then do what I say and go to the biomes. What will I find there? Difficult to predict. Be ready for anything. The survivors lived in safe zones known as refuges. They had absorbers and fabricators there. You'll be able to use them. And these engineers, how do I find them? You'll need to search the biomes they managed. Get in touch with me when you enter the biomes. I'll tell you where to look for them. Damn, that's a lot of talk and development hit. I guess it means we have like 15 minutes now in order to get over to the other biome. I have to solve a puzzle to open up this gate. Okay, what's the puzzle about? I get that it's probably gonna have to... I don't think I have to do anything, actually. Yeah, I think it just has to go to the end. I just don't know how to move the pieces, but I guess didn't have to in this case. Alright, good. Well, it's also close behind us now. Less ideal. Oh, wow. You there, Richard? I went through the gate mark with the Roman number one. It's a woodland biome, a forest. You'll find the remnants of the Fauna Research Station there. Todd Bachman was a biome engineer. Where should I look for him? Start at the refuge, then search the station building. Call me when you find him. And one more thing, look for formulas. The survivors learned how to produce various types of the serum. They called them stimulers, and they used them to obtain skills that may prove useful to you as well. Good luck. Alright, the timer also officially begun. So I guess... Oh, what the fuck? So I guess this is where the game truly starts. Merely tossing us into the deep end with some bloody wolves as well. I got all these fog wolves ain't that bad. There we go, my god. They don't deal that much damage, which is good. We get his skull and some serum stuff. See, so yeah, we have 45 minutes from, well, I guess a minute and something ago. Some areas are still blocked off. I think it said something about the swamp being blocked, which I imagine is the next biome. And with blocked, I mean it's just not available in the demo. All right, we have arrived at the refuge camp. Oh, get out of here, you flipping. What even are these? Toxic maggot. There is a guy here as well. He had one of the serums. Yikes. They were having a, uh... Quite a party down here. What the hell is that fucking noise? I know that I heard some battle music, but... Oh, what the fuck is that? Get out of here, man. I feel like I'm just not safe around here. I need to figure out how to heal as well. Alright, I think just using the healing plant heals me a bit. It does seem like it, but it just doesn't do it a lot. But I also have this creepy-ass basement. Uh... I don't think I want to fight that guy, to be honest. I'm good, man. See you later. Sorry for intruding. So I guess this refuge camp wasn't it. Now we have to go to another one. 
Actually, thinking about it, we used the healing herbs, right? Which are kind of useful. Didn't I pick up a bunch of bandages? Yeah, I should have probably used it. Actually, they don't even seem to work either. Maybe the healing herbs were the way to go. This seems to be kind of a toxic place, not gonna lie. Richard mentioned stimulers. Yeah, maybe we should listen to Richard. <laughs> it seems to have set us on a course for the anti-fox serum recipe. Which kind of feels like it's the place we just looted. So I probably missed it. Ooh. Can we get in here? No? Looks like you would chop it down with a axe, but I guess not. Alright, I'm looking at it. This is the place we just looted. You know that uh, basement I went down and I was like, nah, don't want to go here? We'll have to go here. All we need is this thing, though. <laughs> Kill the Elf Lieutenant? Oh, come on. And we have to take his liver, too? Wait, that's all the way over there? I thought it was going to be the dude that's dwelling the basement here. And there's another one of those wolves. We can actually get it from up here, which is kind of surprising. No, I'll use the cheese method. I don't want to lose that much HP. It does seem like he still is able to get us. But we didn't lose as much as we probably would have otherwise. Alright, let's just run in. That's the alpha. Oh, the thing's huge. And has regular versions around as well. Oh, man. Yo, and a wolf is coming too? I feel like this is so unfair. Okay, good. We got the big guy. Oh, my goodness. We did it. We got all of it. I don't like that I can still hear battle music, though. Alright, two minutes left. Ooh, what's this? I'm not even sure what it was. It does seem like there is some other stuff around, so I'll be checking things out. Uh, but it probably also means there are enemies in the area, I would imagine. Yeah, big ones at that. And as it's peewee ones, I don't think we can take that at the moment. And so they said the refugees had a fabricator as well. I think I will head back to base regardless for now just to craft up the anti-fog serum and i hope that that machine that's back at our base will also heal us if anything though we get a full 10 minute booster instead of the five we just had and let's see if this machine also heals us up completely the absorber and our arm looks messed up but yeah okay it does heal us that is fantastic let's fabricate this one this gives us a mist resistance for just a minute all right i made two of them just in case it wants us to inject it but i don't think that would be a wise idea at the moment so let's head towards where the fog was all right so from what i remember because it's no longer marked anywhere i think we just have to follow the road and there's just so many little hostile things around what the hell all right so i think it did take a shortcut because i don't remember any of this this is blocked off, alright. Yeah, so this is not a simple follow the road solution. Oh, we're back at where the alpha was, what the heck. Alright, let's follow the road back a little bit, because I do remember something about a gas station. And I think I saw it on the way here as well. So it must have crossed through there. Yeah, so here's the gas station. Now I'm thinking about the serum, right? It said one minute, but I assume that just means that we gain a minute to our timer. And for some reason in my mind, it was like it only lasts for a minute. But I think earlier it said we can get boosts from it. And the only way to get rid of those boosts were by using that absorber. So I would imagine that if we inject ourselves now, it will probably just go as where it is, right? Oh, the car line cable. Not really what I thought, but I guess it does tell us kinda. Let's do that. Uh, already seems like... What? That's it? I thought I was talking about an entire other biome not being in the game, so I thought we were just able to do this first one. Oh man, this demo is so short then. It does seem like though the main game is going to have bosses. He can have four-player co-op, which is pretty cool. The whole serums seem kind of interesting as well. Additional biomes, yeah. It didn't really seem like we could do much more than we just did though. Like, we'd have to find more recipes, but I didn't see any laying about in some of the POIs that I explored. But yeah, I'll keep an eye out on this game. It seems like it's more along those lines of the story-focused survival games, which I like kind of a lot. So yeah, for now though, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.